Hey, it's Priyanka. So far, we've looked at how Critter Junction was able to launch a new app on Google Cloud. Today, let's take a look at how they can enable their apps to gracefully handle peaks and dips in traffic. Critter Junction is becoming very popular with more users than ever. The game is all about playing daily, collecting items and furniture to decorate your house and interacting with other players. As we saw in the previous episode, they have a range of compute options to deploy their workloads, but they chose to migrate some game servers to Compute Engine. As their traffic grew, they were struggling to provision additional instances globally for any time of the day. This led to overutilized compute and created constant pressure on their operations teams. Clearly, they need an automated way to handle their growing users and maintain performance to keep their users coming back daily. So let's see what Critter Junction should do. They should use a global load balancer and managed instance groups to scale and distribute the traffic automatically. This keeps the operations team happy and the users satisfied with great performance. Managed instance groups provide features such as auto-scaling, auto-healing, auto-updating, and regional multiple zone deployments. To understand this better, let's step back and understand how a Compute Engine instance is created. You create a custom image for your application, which is then used to create an instance. And to make this reusable, you create an instance template. In an instance template, you can not only set up configuration of the VM, but also run startup scripts to pull down the latest version of your code when the machine starts up. You can also attach disk templates with all the software dependencies your app requires, or you leave it as an empty shell that gets populated by a CI-CD pipeline. These templates then automate the creation of Compute Engine instances at scale through managed instance groups. Let's see how this works with a simple web app example. Let's head over to our project in the Google Cloud Console and create a firewall rule under VPC networks to allow HTTP traffic to the app we are about to deploy. Provide a name, default allow HTTP, default network, targets, select the specific target tags, and set the target tag as HTTP-server. Set the source filter to IP ranges and provide 0.0.0.0/0 to allow access for all IP addresses. For ports and protocols, select TCP and enter AD, and then create. Now head over to the Compute Engine and create an instance template. Give it a name, select machine type, set boot disk image to Debian 9, and check allow HTTP traffic. Under the Management tab, find Automation and add the startup script. This script causes each instance to run a simple web application during startup and finally create. Link to the tutorial is included below for you to refer to the sample script. Now that we have an instance template, we can create an instance group using this template. Create an instance group Give it a name, select multiple zones under location. This protects us from zonal failures. Select a region and under instance templates, select a template we just created. Now set auto scaling mode to auto scale. Auto scaling policy to CPU utilization. You can also set policy to HTTP load balancing or monitoring metrics. We're going to talk more about HTTP load balancing in a minute. We will set the target CPU usage to 60% minimum number of instances to three. It is recommended that you provision enough instances so that if an entire zone was to go down, the remaining instances still meet the minimum number required. And set the max number of instances to six to make sure you don't incur additional cost. We will set the cooldown period to 120 seconds. Make sure this number is higher than the time it takes for CPU utilization of the VM to initially stabilize. We will skip setting a health check for now, or we'll cover that in the next episode. After that, just create. Wait for a few minutes until all the instances are running. Then go to VM Instances and click on the external IP of the instance to see the demo web page. Now that we have it all set up, let's generate traffic so we can see the auto-scaling in action. Open Cloud Shell, 
create a local bash project using export project ID command. Run this bash script. Again, that's included in the link below. This script increases load, which leads to increase in CPU utilization for our demo app. When it reaches the target value of 60%, the auto scaling starts increasing the size of our instance group. Now, let's navigate to our monitoring tab in our instance group and we can see the increasing number of instances as the CPU usage is increasing. And you can see the scale down effect by running a similar bash script that decreases the load, leading to a decrease in CPU utilization. And after a few minutes of stabilization period, the autoscaler prompts to decrease the instance group size, which is visible in the monitoring tab as well. Critter Junction has global users. They want the users from Singapore to end up on Asia East web server, while the ones in US end up on US Central region. For this, they would use global load balancing, which routes traffic to the nearest web server instance, which helps reduce latency and improve performance. From there, the internal load balancer distributes the traffic to manage and maintain load across the backends. These instance groups in different regions auto-scale using an HTTP load balancing policy to scale seamlessly regardless of where the traffic is coming from. Not only was Critter Junction able to automate the scaling of their compute instances using auto-scaling and managed instance groups, they were also able to improve performance by serving traffic from instances closest to their users using the global load balancing. But there's one more step to scale, identifying the instances that are unhealthy and replacing them automatically. So stay tuned for the next episode where we will cover how Critter Junction can set up auto healing and keep their users happy. And remember, always be architecting.